Hello all, welcome to eDrawMind. Let's begin with understanding a new feature of eDrawMind called Outliner. After clicking on the new option, select Outliner from the eDrawMind mind map templates. Outline mode allows you to use different note-taking styles and switch between them. You can also toggle between a visual mind map and a bulleted list. Now let's continue creating a mind map template using an outline. The hierarchy of your mind map will be reflected in the structure of your outline list. And your map's central topic will become the main heading, first level topics will become subheadings, etc. Fonts can be modified as needed in the formatting ribbon. Click B to change the selected font to bold. Click I to change the selected font to italics. Click U to change the selected text so that it's underlined. Click Strike Through to cross out the selected text by drawing a line through it. Click the AB to change the selected text background color. To change the color of the selected text, click the A in the formatting ribbon. Go to Increase Indent or Decrease Indent to switch between the main or subtopics of your mind map. Here, you can insert a picture to the selected topic from the Graphics option. And you can mark the selected topic based on their priority, progress, face, arrow, flag, star, symbol, and more. For example, here we'll add the music symbol for subtopic P, priority number 6 for class 1, and number 3 for subtopic 2. Under the Notes option, you can insert brief notes on the selected topic and it will be displayed here with low opacity. And you can add hyperlinks if the selected topic or shape requires it or to add more information. Attachments from other devices can be copied to the outline. Comments can be added as well and can be viewed at the selected topic. The Tag Manager option allows you to tag resources. Here, you can find and replace any words or content that you want to change. Then select Mind Map from the menu to see your outline in Mind Map format. A new feature called Branch Repositioning Mode on the right pane will allow you to move a branch by dragging and dropping it to any place on the canvas. Make sure your outline list is structured properly before converting to a mind map. Any modifications will be visible in your outline list when you switch back. If you move the branch in the mind map mode, the outline will also change seamlessly. Switch back to outline mode to see the modified outline list from the mind map mode. You can also open or hide branches of the lists in the outline. As you can see, Outline Mode instantly turns mind maps into editable outlines.
Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more eDraw Mind videos. To try eDraw Mind for yourself, click on the link in the description below.